Hulbert was an American firearms marketer based in New York that produced revolvers from 1976 until 1916. The firearms of the company are designed by Joseph Merwin, who joined forces with the Hulbert brothers. The Hulbert brothers also owned 50% interest in the Hopkins and Allen Arms Company, which became the manufacturers for Mervyn Hulbert firearms. During its 12-year lifespan, the company Merwin Hulbert had produced over 14 different revolvers. During the Frontier era, the Merwin Hulbert revolvers were considered not only as equal to the revolvers from Colt and Smith & Wesson, but as regarded by some as superior. The company became bankrupt after making three large shipments to Russia without getting any payment and many other financial yeah. In 1881, the firearm that I am going to focus on is the Frontier model. The Frontier model was a large frame, single action, and later double action revolver produced to compete with the Colt Single Action Army, 1875 Remington, and Smith & Wesson Model 3 revolvers. This model was made in four different variations. One unique innovation with the Merwin Hover revolvers was that the revolvers would open with a twisting action pulling it towards the side. The cylinder is held in place by the vacuum pressure of the revolver with, without the use of any springs. The revolver was built with such precision that the opening between the barrel and the cylinder is just big enough that only the empty cases will fall free, leaving the unfired cartridges in the cylinder. By pulling this lever on the bottom allows for the barrels to be swapped. One of the main selling points for the Merwin Hulbert Frontier model is its ability to have different barrel length. The barrel length offered are the three and a half along with the standard seven inch barrel. Fourth and final model of the Frontier included additional five and a half inch barrel length. These barrels are interchangeable without the use of any tools. The user would simply pull an additional lever to unhook the barrel from the frame while the revolver is twisted sideways. Little is known about Merwin Hulbert due to a tremendous fire in 1891 that destroyed nearly all of the company's records. Merwin Hulbert usually were nickel finished because they were offered at the same price or lower than the blue version. Only about 5% of the total produced revolvers were blue finished. Even though the company didn't last long, the revolvers were still arguably the best revolvers at its time.